So I was asked, how do you keep your Google Meet links secure? And how I do it is I use Google Calendar. So I invite people to my Google Calendar event, and in the calendar event, it has the Google Meet link. So how do people get added to my calendar without me having to type in their name all at once? So I coded alicekeeler.com slash calendar me. So alicekeeler.com slash calendar me. And it's going to prompt you to make a copy. This is a Google Form add-on. It is an unofficial add-on, so it will let you know that it has not been authorized or reviewed by Google yet. And so once you make the copy, you're going to go ahead and go up to the three dots menu to go to add-ons, or you can just go to straight to the puzzle piece and choose Calendar Me by Alice Keeler. And I'm going to authorize the add-on. Once you've authorized the add-on, go back to the puzzle piece up here at the top. Choose Calendar Me. And you can paste the calendar ID to set the calendar ID. So how do you find that? So let's go ahead and go over to calendar.google.com. And I would like to add it to this product tutoring calendar. So I'm going to do sharing and settings. And you scroll down. Scroll down, scroll down, and you can see it says to integrate calendar, and it has the calendar ID, and it's got this funky looking link here. So I'm going to copy that. And so I'm going to paste the calendar ID. Now, if you don't know the calendar ID, you don't want to go look for it, if you put nothing, if you don't use paste calendar ID, it'll use your default calendar. So the main one that just comes with your Google Calendar. So if you don't want to go to a sub-calendar, that's fine. You don't even have to go know what that is. It'll do that automatically. So only if you want to go to a special calendar do you need to paste the calendar ID. So I'm going to paste that calendar ID and then go back to the puzzle piece, choose Calendar Me, and I'm going to set calendar events. So I set the calendar events and it says how many days do you want the event to pull from? So it's actually going to read that calendar and it's going to pull all the events off of the calendar. So I'm going to choose 12 days and say OK. And so you'll see what it's done is found all of the events that I have on the calendar automatically. I'm going to do that again. I'm going to go ahead and just add an event here. And I'm going to put it on that special calendar. I'm going to add a Google Calendar Meet. I'm going to save that. So when I come back, so notice this has three things in the time frame. So I'm going to go back up here. I'm going to Calendar Me, and I set the calendar events. And I'm going to do it for 20 days. And you'll see there's now four things on there that it has that Google Classroom support that I just added. So it is actually reading the calendar. Everything from today through the number of days that I indicate, it adds it on there. Okay, so then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to share this form. So whoever's going to fill it out, and they choose what they're going to put on there. Okay, I'm going to submit another response and I'll use a different one. And this person wants to go to help with Google Forms. So now let's go look at the calendar. So what should happen is that you've pulled in all of your calendar events for that number of days onto the form. And then you share the form and says, who wants to attend these events? Now if some of those events you don't want to invite people to, just use the little X and remove it from the Google Form options. Okay, so then when you share the Google Form with someone, they're like, oh, I want to go to this event. And it's going to capture their email at the top. And whatever email they put in there is going to be invited to that event. And when they're invited to the event, the event has the link to the Google Meet. So then I don't have to put it out publicly on a website or on Twitter where I invite mm, maybe some less savory characters into my meeting. So I want just who fills out the form. So let's take a look. I have here meet with Lindy. 
and I'm going to edit this. And I have no guess. So let's go ahead and submit another response. We're going to meet with Lindy, and over in here, when I click on this, you can see that it is now shared with that email address. Let's check the other one. I have this Google Classroom support, and you can see that it is shared as well. So this is an easy way to share with others that you have something coming up that they can attend and they can just put in their email, fill out the form, and then they're added to the calendar event. Now what's extra cool about that is what if you change something with the event? You, I move it and I edit, change the time, change the location, change the description, well they're added to the event. So any of your changes they would be notified of.